Today, we're going to start the water cooling in my system by installing the EK D5 RGB pump. Welcome to my channel. Today, we're going to be installing the EK D5 pump. Now, we have several different mounting options for this. We can either use the 120 millimeter fan bracket to mount the pump to a fan or to the back of the radiator, or we have a template that we can use to actually drill holes and mount it anywhere we want. So originally I had planned on using this bracket to mount in front of the radiator right here so I can have the pump really low in the case. However, I don't really like that idea now that I have it here. And so now I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to mount it to this hard drive bay right here. I think I have just enough room for the screws to clear on the bottom. So let me show you what I'm talking about. One option I have for pump mounting is to actually mount this bracket over in front of the radiator. It'll actually be kicked out a little bit more, but you get the general idea. It'll be right around this area and then have the pump sitting backwards on this bracket and it should fit okay and it would basically sit the pump right about there as you can see in the case. It gives it relatively good clearance all the way around, except there's a couple downsides to it. For one, you can see my flux capacitor sitting there in the background. That'll actually be blocked partially, especially with the hoses coming off of the pump. And also, it's going to give me a really tight run to go from the back of the pump to the radiator. So I kind of scrapped that idea. I don't think I like it. I think what I'm actually going to do instead is I think I'm actually going to use this hard drive bay right here. There's enough clearance right here to fit the screws to mount the pump from underneath and we can mount the pump right here so it looks facing out of the case so you'll actually be able to see the RGB as well as it'll give me enough room to put my drain plug and let me show you what I'm going to do. For my drain plug, I'm actually going to use this four-way splitter and I'm going to attach the drain plug to the bottom of the splitter and then this is actually going to screw into the output of the pump. So it's going to sit right here on the output and that will actually allow me to have my drain sitting down right alongside of the hard drive bays right there. And then the hose coming out of the pump It'll go up over the pump and it'll come into a 90 degree fitting to the top of the radiator. So it should give enough clearance to be able to continue to see my flux capacitor. And yes, it does light up. And it should give me plenty of room to be able to fit the pump. However, there is one problem with this design. And let me show you what it is. As you can see from this position where the pump is sitting, it comes really close to my graphics card. And currently in this computer, I only have a single fan graphics card. So if the pump is sitting here, there's no way I'm ever going to be able to fit a full length graphics card in this computer. However, I should still be able to get an RTX 2060 or something like that in there with no problem. And this computer here is actually a Linux rig, so I don't play a lot of games on it anyway. Um, I do a little bit, but nothing to where a lower tier graphics card is going to make a difference. So I think this is going to be the route I'm going to go with. And so again, so the drain plug will be sitting just like this. So it'll be pointing down like that. So then when I need to go do a water change, all I have to do is just lift this up like that and open it up. And this should be the lowest point on the loop um, aside from the radiator itself, but it should be able to drain most of the system out. So the way that we're going to do this is we're going to use the template that comes with the EK kit and we're actually going to use the template to drill the holes inside of the hard drive bay. So what my plan is, is I'm going to use a Sharpie and I'm actually just going to line up the pump right where I want it. Right about there looks good. And then I'm going to mark where the side of the pump sits on this hard drive rack. And then I'm going to mark where the front of the pump is right here. So that should give me a good indication on where the pump's going to be. I should be able to find the other positions from that. So you can see my two marks right there that I'm going to use to actually align the template. So let's do that right now. All right, you want to make sure that it's square. And it looks pretty square from there. So we're just going to stick it down. And there we go. That looks pretty good. So this should 
be a good spot to be able to mount the pump. So now we need to tear it all apart, get that hard drive rack out so we can actually get the holes drilled. So let me get everything situated real quick and I'll be right back. Many, many minutes later. Okay, so we're over here on the other side of my shop where I have my vise to make this a little bit easier. And what I did was I actually mounted the hard drive rack onto a two by four with a clamp so it'll stay still. And then I'm gonna take this whole thing and put it into my vise and it should hold it solid for me so we can get these holes drilled. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is on this EK pattern, it has little X's right where the screw holes are supposed to be. So I'm gonna do two holes first, then I'm gonna move the hard drive rack over to the other side so I can do the other two. So I'm gonna start with using a punch. Um, I highly recommend against just drilling straight through, hoping that you're gonna get the hole right. I would definitely start with a punch to make sure your holes go in the right spot. So the way you do that, is you just line your punch up right with the point of the X right there. And then get yourself a hammer and make a little dent. Just like that. And we're gonna do it again for the other hole. Perfect, all right. So now, I'm gonna start with a smaller size drill bit just to get a small hole drilled, and then I'm gonna drill out with the bigger bit. So I don't know exactly how the sound of this drill is going to sound over the camera, so if it sounds really bad, I apologize. I'll try to mask it in post somehow. So I'm gonna go ahead and drill these holes now, and we'll see how it comes out. All right, now that I have the smaller holes drilled, I'm gonna go ahead and drill out the bigger hole now. All right, now that we have those two holes done, we're gonna flip it around and we're gonna do the other side now. All right, we have the two pilot holes done. We can take the template off now. And all we have to do is finish these two holes with the larger holes, and we should be ready to mount the pump if everything went as planned. All right, looks good. So it looks like I may have mangled up one of the holes, but other than that, it looks pretty decent. We will have to get it over the bench and see how it came out. All right, I'll be back in a minute. All right, so I got the pump now mounted to the hard drive rack and it actually worked really well. The template that came with the pump was right on and I got the holes perfect. Now the one concern that I had was whether or not the screws that hold the pump in were gonna stick down too far and hit the hard drive. And luckily, it looks like it fits in just right. There's plenty of room for the hard drive with no interference whatsoever. Now, the only thing that may serve as a problem is depending on how much vibration the pump creates, I'm worried about the vibration from the pump actually damaging the drives. However, the pump is isolated inside of its bracket, so hopefully that won't be an issue, but 
We'll find out, and maybe it'll give me an excuse to upgrade to SSD drives instead of these old regular spinning disks anyway. So now I'm gonna mount this back into the case and see how everything fit. And there we go. I got it all bolted together and it came out exactly how I envisioned it in the first place. Now, right now the pump has no power going to it. All I have is the RGB hooked up. You don't ever want to run a pump dry because the pump is actually lubricated from the coolant that's in the system. So right now, since there's no water in the system, we don't want the pump actually running. So right now I just have the wires rolled up and stuck in the back of the case. So other than that, I have everything capped off and ready for the next stage when we actually start putting the water cooling together. So let's take a closer look at how this came out. We still have a few more steps before we actually get water in this system, so stay tuned to the rest of the series. If this kind of stuff interests you, then please subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon so you can be notified of future videos. And don't forget to like this video. Have a good day.